guys and welcome back to another collector's discussion. Today we have The Batman Wars Part 2 or 3. I think I think it's 3. This is Ina uh, finally releasing their uh, Batman Robert Pattinson for pre-order. Uh, like I said, this, uh, this property has kind of been weird. It's the first time I think in the 1-6 scale community where there's genuine competition with these two uh, figures. Uh, with obviously Hot Toys doing theirs and now Inart finally releasing more product photos. Uh, like I said, I'm more leaning towards Inart from what they showed with the last teaser. Uh, I think it's more accurate, but now they're showing like the full package of what we're getting and it looks like we've got four or five options to choose upon whether it's sculpted or rooted hair or you can choose uh bruce wayne in the suit batman in the suit or have a more than one one big collection uh in one big bundle if i am going to get this and i'm leaning towards i am uh it's most likely going to be the bundle because again i, I love the movie uh and I'm Batman collector at number one, so I want the best of the best of uh, this property, basically. So, without any more rambling on, uh, if you do enjoy this, make sure you like and sub. Uh, I'll pull the pictures up now, and we'll get right into it. So, we've got the pictures here, and I must say, overall, I'm pretty impressed with this. Uh, I think, going by this photo here, I think the only one negative is I think the cape is a little bit too short. Uh, I have to look back at the movie again, but I the cape was pretty short to begin with, but I don't think it's this short. Uh, I think the cape was just above the ankle joint. Uh, it wasn't like an Affleck or a Keating or even some of Christian Bale's capes where that was scraping on the floor. Uh, this Batman's cape was short, but I think this is maybe a touch too short. Uh, but saying that, I think in art, if there's enough voices uh, to speak out, I think that will adjust that. Uh, and if this is a leather cape, again, this is, in my opinion, it's one over Hot Toys automatically. Even if it is slightly shorter, the fact that it is going to be real leather, if that's true to the, if they're true to their word uh then i think it's automatically a win in my opinion but i'll zoom in quickly uh not really a big pose here i think that's probably a negative i've seen of the community uh a lot of them a lot of people saying that it's not showcasing the articulation and posability for me i'm fine uh you know i'm kind of 50 50 where it's like they should show that it's able to pose, but I think if, when this eventually comes my way, I'm probably going to pose my Batman like this anyway. Maybe with the head sculpt tilting down a bit more, and the eyes rolled up a bit. Because uh, again, this is pretty intimidating of a stance. But yeah, overall, I was wrong with the weathering on the chest with the other photo. I said the Hot Toys one was a bit inaccurate which it was, and I also thought this was going to be just as inaccurate with weathering, but as you can see, it's pretty uh, desaturated here. It's not that one color. It looks a bit tarnished and wrecked around uh, the fabric parts of the suit. Again, the proportions are 10 out of 10. Like, this looks pretty much like uh, Patterson in the suit. And obviously the stunt performer. And looking at this cape, I really, really hope it is genuine leather. Uh, John from Queen Art, which for people who don't know, John was kind of like the English representative of Queen. He basically said that Queen don't want to do pleather material or disintegrated rubber style material. And that kind of was the first... Uh, 
like buzzword that got me interested into Queen where I thought, oh shit, they're going to actually do real materials that won't wreck like some of the hot toys I do have. And hopefully they're true to their word because again, that's going to sway me to either keep this one or uh, maybe sell it in the long run if it is going to disintegrate. But as you can see, it's weathered here on the bottom. Uh, again, very Ben Affleck style. Uh, he's probably the only one, aside from Rob Robert Patterson, that had the weathering on the cape. And we've got one of the unmasked portraits here, which looks like the sculpted version. I don't know if you get a rooted unmasked as well. I assume you would. If you're getting that mega double pack with Bruce Wayne in the funeral attire, I'm pretty sure you would get both head sculpts rooted. Uh, this one with obviously the eye makeup. Something I really like about what they've done with Robert Patterson's Batman is the messy hair. Uh, that's actually a negative I had with the DX19 from Hot Toys was they gave us an unmasked Christian Bale head sculpt, but it, it looked like he just gelled it up or combed it back. While, you know, realistically, if he took the cow off, he wouldn't look like that. He would look much like this, messy and all over the place. Which, again, I really like that they've done that with this version of Batman. The cape is actually off. I just realized that. So... That's actually interesting. How would this cape be actually applied on? Was it optional to remove it on the Hot Toys version? Because I do know you had the glider suit, the squirrel suit. Maybe it is detachable. Maybe it's got magnet clips here. Maybe a Velcro at the back or a magnet. Maybe they show that later down the line. I, I want to see how that w works. But yeah, overall, the suit is pretty much a 10 out of 10 in my opinion, you know. Uh, Hot Toys were pretty inaccurate with the placement of some of the buckles and cases here on the actual belt. This looks pretty accurate. Uh, I think Hot Toys had the metal clip on this side. And I've got Hot Toys and Inart side-by-side -side pictures at the end, and I'll go through that later on. The one thing I don't see, though, is the wiring here. Or... Maybe that's something there. May hopefully further down the line in these pictures, they show that. Because I don't think Hot Toys had that on theirs. The actual wire, kind of rope look wire. But yeah, the stitching looks pretty good here. Uh, the spacing here in the abdominal uh, plates look really, really nice. So you get an unmasked cowl as well. Overall, I'm really, really liking this. Okay, so they did put the wiring. Okay, so... I don't know, Again, I don't know if Hot Toys did this, but obviously Inart have done it, and... Again, a reason for me to hop on there is because they're doing a more accurate suit. So yeah, there is wiring here. Uh, wiring here as well, accurate. Is that a Velcro? So it's Velcro attached by the looks of it. Maybe at the back, but what would that do at the front? Maybe it'll be magnet clips under the chest piece, or maybe the chest piece comes off and uh, friction clamps on the cape. Again, that will be interesting to see how that actually works. But assuming it's Queen, they're going to do it in a more high quality way, just because, uh, well, again, they're a statue company and that high quality is their main sell. And this is the rooted hair it looks like the rooted hair yeah this looks really really nice again uh i don't think you could go wrong with fabric uh suits basically again hot toys are pretty good with that uh their john wick figure was really really nice uh also their really old uh vito Calion from godfather Marlon Brando, that was really good too. I've got that in my collection too. Uh, so again, suited figures, you can't really go wrong with. Uh, so this hugs the body nice. Speaking of Ben Affleck, like I said before, this has kind of got Ben Affleck vibes with the big trench coat. Uh, yeah, because Bale had kind of pinstripe suit. While Affleck and... Uh, 
Patterson here have kind of the, the dark black with the trench coat on top. It looks like he's holding something. Is that the uh, Corvette keys? Because he was driving a Stingray, right? Yeah. So maybe that's the Corvette keys from the funeral scene. But yeah, this looks pretty good. I actually like this. It's more uh, pronounced in facial features compared to the Hot Toys one, I think. It looks like it's also got different coloring in the skin, which Hot Toys don't really do that uh, that much. Uh, uh, and don't get me wrong, their paint apps are really, really nice Hot Toys, but their actual poor details and uh, the reds and blues that obviously paler people have on their skin, uh, Hot Toys don't really do that much, but obviously here, Patterson's a pretty pale guy, so he will have more pigmentation uh, sh uh, flaws showing, I guess. But yeah, this is really, really nice. Uh, the expression's pretty good. He kind of had that moody, sad, pissed off look. So you got the back of the trench coat here. Again, can't go wrong with fabric goods. Uh, this almost looks sculpted. Let me go back to that other picture. This looks... I don't know now, is this rooted or sculpted? Because that might be thin strands of plastic. Have they actually done a rooted hair for this? It looks rooted, but if that's sculpted, that looks really, really good for sculpted. That almost looks better than the Heath Ledger they've done if this is sculpted. Maybe it's just the shine of uh, whatever LED lights they got for the photo shoot. Ah, oh, yeah, that's rooted. Okay. 100%. Okay, that's... That, yeah, that's rooted hair. Yeah, this looks, this looks really, really nice. I can't... Again, I struggle to find a negative with this at all. Ah... Uh, so it looks like the double pack might be two rooted hair head sculpts, one for the unmask with the makeup and one for what we just saw there, the funeral scene. I really don't have any complaints with this because this suit proportion looks really, really nice. And yes, they're not articulating it, but I think that's just, I think, uh, their way of doing their photoshops or well not photoshops their photo shoots because people said the same thing with their pennywise and later down the line they showed more photos proving that you can articulate the hell out of that body where you can twist the whole uh torso you can have the legs all bent and all mangled so i don't think articulation will be a problem it's just i think it's just the way in art are doing their photos where they want that statue like character pose uh and again from face value this is all fabric material so i don't see a reason why this wouldn't articulate but saying that i don't really over articulate my figures anyway uh i mean if you're a hot toy collector you shouldn't really be doing that anyway i mean hot toys are pretty much known to have pretty uh fragile materials where if you overpose it you might risk breaking it so i've kind of got character poses where m most of the batman figures i have are kind of in this pose where it's just a, a an intimidating stance so again i'm not fussed even if you can't articulate this as well as a hot toys i'm not personally fussed because again have this in this pose with the cow have the Bruce Wayne in the trench coat holding the, the Corvette keys. That will be it for my for me. And again, it's more the accuracy and presence. So the cape looks wired. I really hope this is leather though. I really hope they've gone all the way out and done leather because that would be the massive sell point for me. Uh, he's holding the grapnel gun there which is interesting because he never used it in the movie uh there may have been a deleted scene i think there was some stuff on the chopping board and maybe something regarding this scene got chopped also maybe this resembles too much of an actual gun because i do know uh 
Actually, that might be it. Because this movie watched PG-13, and because DC have a gun problem recently, so Peacemaker can't be uh, advertised with the gun. Uh, Harley Quinn, some of the Margot Robbie ones, can't be advertised with weapons as well. So maybe they've purposely not put this in the movie, so they could market this towards uh, children collectibles or also uh, adult collecting because it's also affecting us. So maybe that's why they didn't put this in the movie because again, he never took it out of that holster at all, which is again weird. But I think what I just said, I think it was because of marketing. And we do get... Uh, the bat signal, which I think looks a bit better than the Hot Toys one. It looks more rusted and uh, it's got more effects to it. Uh, I haven't seen the display base though. The Hot Toys one kind of was weird. I didn't really like the Hot Toys one. Where it's kind of like you can pull it apart and you got like the iceberg lounge step. And then you got some gargoyle. Again, wasn't a, the biggest fan. I would have preferred more of a simplistic one. But it's nice that you get the bat signal here. But yeah, just even on the side profile like that, like this looks pretty much spot on to Patterson's uh, face in the cowl. It looks a bit more textured on the cowl too. Hopefully they got a zoomed in picture. Because the Hot Toys one looked like it missed a bit of stitching detail and overall the weathering. Oh, speak of it. Okay. So, yeah. I don't think Hot Toys had this leather look to it as much as it is here. So, you get the torch that, obviously, he uses throughout the movie. Actually, speaking of these lights, I think the... Uh, Bat signal is LED light up. Maybe this torch is as well. Uh, that actually might be interesting because I'm from Australia and we currently have a massive ban with LED button cell batteries. So that might actually be worrying for this to come here. Because I don't know where I would get this. Maybe uh, Sugo Toys might have this in stock because I can't see Hong Kong sellers taking batteries out for Australian collectors. So that might be a bit of an issue for me. That, yeah, see, that's difficult now because that would be the only thing that would stop me from getting this now is if it does have those button cells included, which would be a shame because I prefer this over Hot Toys. Okay, so that's the base we get. So it says Batman there. It looks like it's got the bat signal there. Or the, the symbol. It looks nice. Nice and simplistic, actually. It suits uh, what Queen have done with the other stuff. I want to see what the... The Patterson uh, Bruce Wayne has. Maybe it has the steps to the uh, funeral. The church. It's interesting that they're over-marketing it without the cape, because again, I don't remember him not wearing the cape, unless if he was unmasked, so I, I guess it's fine. But yeah, the suit proportions look 100 times better than the Hot Toys one, and like I said, further down the line, I've got the side-by-side -side comparisons that people put up, and we'll take a deeper dive in that. But yeah, everything hugs the body nice. The proportions are a 10 out of 10 in my opinion. So we've got uh, the shot of the back here. I wonder if that is a Velcro clip or maybe a magnet underneath that. Because something has to attach the cape. It can't just be uh, free floating, I guess. But yeah, I really love the wiring they've done here. It's really breaking up the color. Yeah, overall, I like this. You know, no complaints so far. Okay, so we do get... It looks like the church steps. 
That's a nice touch with uh, the pins, the cuffling pin. Uh, obviously from the movie. Um, obviously in art are doing magnetized bases, so you're not gonna get the crotch grabber. Again, it gives it that high quality feel uh, and look to these uh, pieces. I wonder, I don't see the cufflings on the actual uh, trench coat. Did he have it on the trench coat or did he have it on the actual suit underneath? I gotta go back and look at the movie because he ended up putting the cufflings on that Alfred gave him. I just don't remember if it was on the trench coat or on the actual suit underneath. I assume it'll be the suit underneath because you want to put that stuff on on the trench. And this looks like this is the sculpted hair. Something looks a bit off on this. Because this is the sculpted hair, right? Yeah, that's sculpted because the rooted hair had a bit more strands on the fringe. Does something look a bit off here? Uh, let me go back to this one. This is the rooted hair. This looks really good. And if I go all the way back to that, this one. I don't know, maybe it's the angle. Something looks off with the sculpted hair. This is 100% sculpted. You can just tell how plastic reflects off lighting. Uh, it looks passable, but something looks a bit... Yeah, it looks... It's just passable for sculpted. It looks like if you want to get this art, uh, it's rooted all the way. I don't know, it looks a bit better here. Maybe that photo was a bit weird. I don't know what happened there. But I assume you can get, obviously, the different variations of the rooted hair for this, sculpted for that, uh, and then the unmasked, rooted and sculpted, and then the double pack, which I assume will be like the Joker, where it's just going uh, big mode, where it's just, you get rooted for the both options, and maybe a thrown in accessory, which probably is that bat signal. So again, unmasked cowl. Uh, that's definitely the... That's the sculpted hair. You know what? The sculpted hair looks pretty good for the unmasked. So if you guys just want the Batman on its own, I think this is possible because, I, again, some people don't want the Bruce Wayne. Uh, for me, I would because they're a nice companion piece. And... Uh, Again, I'm looking at my DX19. If InArt are going to do their version of Bale's Batman, I assume it would be obviously the suited version and, and the uh, Batman version and the Bruce Wayne suit. So I would probably hop on that as well and get rid of my DX19 later down the line just to have, again, paired up. Companion pieces are nice. But yeah... If you guys are getting or want to get a more simple version, I think this would be for most people. Because again, not a lot of people like rooted hair. Uh, and not a lot of people want a Bruce Wayne in a suit. So this is the hands. Uh, are they magnetized? Maybe they're going to list that later down the line. Are these magnetized or they're going to have the ball pegs? For me personally, I think in art should do magnetized on everything, whether it's a full uh, wrist or just uh, something as like gloves. So you get the computer here, which obviously he speaks to the Riddler. Uh, just quickly reading. Okay, so that's actual riddle from the movie, so it's nice to have done that. Yeah, it's nice. Nice little add-on. Uh, I'll quickly move. You've got the unmasked cowl there, which doesn't really make sense because I don't think you use this unmasked, but whatever. They're just throwing that. All 
Okay, so here we go. We got the bat signal here, which looks a bit more accurate to the movie. It's all rusted and dirty. Again, rain and all type of debris was falling on this because it was an exposed uh, abandoned building or building under construction. So this is going to get wrecked by water. Uh, the concerning part is, like I said before, with light up feature. If it's USB light up, I'm in the safe. I'm in the safe zone basically if it's light up with USB. If it's button cell, I'm going to struggle to find uh, a retailer or a reseller that is actually going to take out batteries. Uh, I know there is a site that is doing that from now on, which isn't uh, the best site in the world. Uh, I have gambled with them here and there, but for something as big as this, I don't probably want to gamble that heavy on this. Uh, Again, hopefully Sugo Toys, because I ordered my other in art products from them. Hopefully they've they get this and they can take the batteries out for Aussie collectors, because again they're an Aussie site. But yeah, that's probably the main issue I have here, and hopefully they do say that later down the line. Okay, so we've got a shit ton of accessories here. Alright, I'll first put my head here. There's so much stuff here. So it looks like they've gone all out with basically everything the Riddler gave and sent to the Batman. So we've got some hands there. Again, hopefully they're magnetic swap outs like the actual base. These look like the, uh, the signs that were thrown out by the public actually during this funeral scene. So that's nice that they connected them together. Yeah, the, the public were doing this kind of like a anti-protest or anti-government protest, I guess. So it looks like it is the car keys to the Corvette because that's not the USB thumb drive. I don't know what that is. I'll go back up. So, uh, yeah, that looks like pretty much all of the cards. Aside from the, actually, where's the duct tape one or the uh, fireproof one that Alfred got? Maybe because technically that wasn't given the Batman, it was given the Alfred. Because I don't see that one thrown in here. Oh no, actually it's here. See you in hell. It was this one. Yeah, it was this one. Okay, so they did throw it in. So this is the standard, which is plastic. It's the plastic sculpted hair. So I'll quickly move myself here. So this is everything it comes with. So articulated body, accurate to Bruce Wayne. Roll, okay, so the standard has rolly eyes. So I assume all of them have rolly eyes. So that's really nice. Hot Toys sh should start doing this where Again, Hot Toys DXs don't exist anymore. They're a bullshit uh, label. Just give all your figures at this point rolly eyes. And I like that in art are doing that. Uh, interchangeable hands. They're not saying magnetic interchangeable. Maybe they don't need to because they expect collectors to think that already. Uh, okay, it comes before that. Okay, that's the outfit. Riddler envelopes and cards. One night statue bat base. Interesting they called it one night. Maybe that's just a uh, Chinese to English error. I have no idea. I don't know what one night means. So this is the rooted hair by the looks of it. Yeah, premium. So again, comes with the same stuff. Just before I zoom. Yeah, it comes with the same stuff. So articulated body, roll the eyes, hands. Uh, looks like, yeah, the Corvette keys. Okay, so it was the Corvette keys. One pair of Oxford style leather shoes. So the shoes are leather. Or they sculpted or they're just saying it looks like leather. 
because that looks sculpted from here. But if that is leather, well, they've impressed me with that even more now. Okay, they've got the bat signal here by itself. Uh, I think the bat signal is sold separately if you're not getting the whole big pack. So, yeah, I think that's the way they're doing it. So, this is the standard Batman now, which it looks like it comes with the gloved hands. Again, I don't know if they're magnetic or not. The cow, it comes with, it looks like the lights, handcuffs, batarang. Uh, what the hell is that? I don't know what that is, because they're the batarangs there, I don't know what that is. The grapnel gun, looks like some capsules. Ah, uh, the, the, the grenades he used, smoke grenades. Some grapnel hooks, which he didn't really use for this gun, so that's weird. The same uh, envelopes and cards. The, why is this text a bit grainy? That's weird. So, okay, we get interchangeable actual uh, faces for the actual cow as well. So we get kind of this... Oh, we get three. So we get this one, a more stern look. We get this, it looks like a bit of a smirk. And then we get the really pissed off one where he's like fighting that Riddler goon at the end. And then obviously we get the unmasked sculpted hair. So I think this is probably the... This will be the majority of collectors, I think. I think the majority of collectors will want to get this one. Uh, because it's just a bare... Well... You can't even say it's bare bones because you get uh, a lot with this. So let's see what you get. Articulated Batman. Interchangeable. Three interchangeable expressions. Rooted hair sculpt with rolly eyes. Ten interchangeable hands. Okay, you get the suit. Utility belt. Okay, you get all that. Combat boots. Where's the cape? Wait, wait, where's the cape? That That's the main thing I want to see. One black cape. Interesting they didn't say leather. I hope that's leather. Detachable magnetic die cast batarang. Uh, two die cast batarangs. Sticky bombs. Riddler envelope handcuffs. One UV light. Is it LED though? One flashlight equipped with LED light and two batteries. I assume it's button cell, right. That's going to be pretty interesting of how I'm going to get a hold of this now. I hope Sugo Toys get this in stock because that's probably the only way I can get this now. That's a bit disappointing. But again, that's not... I can't really blame Inart. That's more of what's going on down here. So this is the premium version of just the Batman single pack. Again, I think the standard Batman and this one is probably what majority of collectors are going to get. Uh, it just depends if you want rooted or sculpted. So it looks like you get the exact same here. It's just the rooted hair on mask. Uh, oh, okay. You get the computer as well for this. So, wait, you... So you get the computer only with the premium single pack Batman with the rooted hair. So if you want that extra accessory, you got to get this version. And then you got the, the big dick, big one here, all in, which is probably the one I'm going to get. If, if I can get this now because of these battery problems. I'm sure I'll, I'll, I'll have to find a way. I'm sure I'll find a way. So this is the all in. So this is everything I've covered, smashed into one big one. Uh, the rooted hair Batman, unmasked, and then the rooted hair Bruce Wayne funeral scene is in this one. Plus, you get the, uh, what's it called? Bat signal. <laughs> I can't complain, I think this is a good deal. Uh, Price-wise, uh, it's probably a K. You're looking at maybe a grand here for Australia collectors. Uh, so 500 per figure. 
rooted hair, plus a fair chunk of accessories, and you get the bat signal. I think that's okay. I think that's alright. Yeah, I think that's alright actually. So now this is the comparison of the Hot Toys one on the left, in art on the right, and the screen used in the middle. So just again, this is prototype versus prototype because again, we don't know in art might, uh, you know, downgrade from their prototype. Hot Toys might upgrade from their prototype. We don't know yet. We don't know what's going to happen uh, so far. But looking at prototypes here from the right and the left, in art, in my opinion, is the winner here. Uh, it's way more proportioned. The chest piece is, again, nice and proportioned to the bodysuit. It looks like they've cut off some bits here, oddly, for the Hot Toys version. And as you can see, it's pretty good here. The colouring matches perfectly here. Uh, it's a dirty grey black, while Hot Toys is just, again, one fabric colour. The cape... Hold on a minute. The cape is actually not too bad. It needs to be hanging just a little bit lower, but it's actually not too bad. And it looks much more accurate on the in art version, while Hot Toys have got this weird split here. And again, what I said, if Hot Toys do a pleather cape, that's going to be disappointing if in art are going to do real leather. But I'm actually second, I got second thoughts on this. It's not too bad, it should hang out a little bit more, but I think in art might uh, touch up that and fix that later down the line. Uh, the colouring again looks pretty good. The belt placement, see like I said here, the belt clip should be on the right side of the buckle, as it is portrayed here, and Hot Toys got it incorrect. Also, there's no rectangle belt on this side, but there is the pouch here and here, correctly displayed here. There's no two rectangle pouches on the belt, which again is inaccurate from Hot Toys. But again, maybe they fixed that, maybe they won't, I don't know, who knows. But going on face value by again prototype versus prototype, it's in art so far. Now this is the Hot Toys unmasked head sculpts. So we've got obviously the unmasked rooted hair on the top here from in art and the unmasked sculpted from Hot Toys. And honestly, I think in art again is the winner here. I think there's more texturing on the head sculpt. I might say as a negative though, in art aren't showing as close up as Hot Toys are. So that might be playing with the actual depiction of the head sculpt. But from what I'm visually seeing, in art is got the upper hand, especially with the rooted hair. And obviously the skin texturing and the jawline. Hot Toys is still pretty good. Again, if you want the uh, just passable version and don't want to go all out, I would say get the Hot Toys one. Uh, I'm going to get the Hot Toys one just to have uh, a comparison video uh, and, you know, fairly compare them side by side. And then we've got the Cowled Mask, which again, like I said, seeing them side by side, in art again is winning this. The texturing on the actual cowl is more detailed here. There's much more scratching and damage. And in the zoomed in photos, you actually saw more leather detail. Well, again, Hot Toys looks way too... Uh, it's almost matte. It looks way too clean. Yes, there is a couple of scratches here and there, but it's not to the extent of what in art have gone. And again, the cape is going to be a big... Uh, 
deciding factor for me if inner do real leather and at the same time even if this is pleather it looks better proportioned on the body than here it's it's oddly chopped off here from hot toys but i think that's it yes so what i'll do is i'll go back to this because this is obviously what i'm going to get if i can get a hold of this it's going to be this one uh again hopefully sugo toys or i don't know if pop culture are going to get a hold of this probably not because it's not officially distributed here in the western world sugo toys is probably the way i'm going to have to go uh again hopefully they remove the batteries because that's what they said they're going to do from now on uh i'm basically all in basically what what the package deal here is i'm all in with this i like this uh and i'm excited to get this one and i'm gonna get the hot toys one probably not the big uh deluxe deluxe one that they're doing i might just get the standard one just to do a comparison on the figure itself and i will see which one is the winner out of them two but that's pretty much it uh yeah i'm pretty much excited for this uh again if you guys did enjoy this make sure you like and sub and i'll see you in the next one